new 2024 model Mercedes AMG CLE 53. AMG went all in with this. The front and even the rear is completely widened. Just look at the way they shaped it. Extremely nice, muscular. Hello guys, I am back today welcoming you all with this. Right in front of us we have the all new 2024 model Mercedes AMG CLE 53. And in today's video I just want to give you a full tour of the exterior, showing you all the highlights. Afterwards we'll be checking out the special interior. And then last but not least we will be listening to the sound of this CLE 53 AMG for the first time ever. And then we'll be finishing it all off with a resume. So let's get it on and let me tell you about all the numbers. Sales have officially started. The driving impressions are still under embargo. We'll be sharing that with you in the future. But let me first talk about the price. So the price of the all new CLE 53 AMG base price in Germany is at 91,000 euros. So if you just start specking your CLE 53, you will end up around about 110 ish, 120 maybe for a six cylinder CLE 53 AMG. What do you think about that price? Is it reasonable? Is it fine or is it too much? Please share it in the comment section below. Talking about the engine, as I already mentioned, we have an in row six cylinder, three liter, producing. 449 horsepower with 330 kilowatts we do the 0 to 100 sprint in 4.2 seconds and we have 560 newton meters of torque and with the over boost function we even reach 600 newton meters of torque for just 12 seconds this is actually the m 256 m so the facelifted version of the two 56 engine which comes with a double charging with an electric exhaust turbocharger which we have already experienced with the latest c63 and all the other amg models we also have an uh, additional electric compressor with the cle 53 but we'll be talking about that when we drive the car as i mentioned all cle's also the non-amgs and the amg version is all mild hybrid models so they all come standard from factory with the integrated starter generator giving us an additional boost of 16 kilowatts around about 20 horsepower talking about the body and the exterior there's a lot to mention but first things first amg went all in with this the front and even the rear is completely widened we have a 53 model here but it comes with 58 millimeter wider front and 75 millimeter wider rear arches we'll be showing you that in full detail when we walk around the car uh, let me just get right into it and start with the walk around in general it comes with the fully variable uh, all-wheel drive system is super advanced we'll be also mentioning and talking about that when we drive the car something that i really love is the side profile in specific because it really reminds me of the w205 c63 coupe also with the exterior paint if you compare that you will love it and you will you won't unsee that again talking about the spec here we have the graphite gray magno exterior paint we have the nike package one and two uh, and a lot of things that i have to show you so let's get on let's start with the front first things first the face of the cle 53 is just so aggressive as i mentioned wider body 57 millimeters wider in the front arches you can see that here by the curves extremely muscular super sporty in addition with the graphite gray magno exterior paint it's just absolute perfection in my opinion as i mentioned we have a new grill here which is a shape this grill comes optionally with the night package 2 finished in dark chrome you can see the regular chrome here and then you see the dark chrome on the night package 2 optional grill we have the uh, afalterbach amg crest here in the front which uh, comes with all the latest amgs nowadays uh, the 53 cle comes with this front bumper here which gives me 63 characteristics already but it's just as 53 so this is super super cool the way they did this full black gloss finish as we have the night package one here it's perfect also the way they did the bonnet here with the power domes with the outtakes here is actually real so it's not just a cover as i mentioned with the night package one and two we get first things first everything here fully blacked out back windows tinted and then we also get 
these badges here finished in dark chrome, even this side part here finished in a black gloss. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of that, honestly, it's just for the look, so it's not functional, as you can already see, just plastic-ish in the inside. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually fine with it. Also down here, more black gloss parts as we have the Nike package one. With the wheels here, we have the multi-spoke wheels. There's actually two wheel options for the CLE only, which is not really that good in my opinion. I wish we had a third of even four options for the CLE. These are 20 inches, full black. And the second option is actually the same wheel, but in silver. We also get this additional silver ring here. There's no option to go full black. So we have 20 inches here in the back, uh, in the front, and we have 20 inches here in the back as well. My personal highlight, just from the body of the CLE, is, is this shoulder here. Just look at the way they shaped it. Extremely nice, muscular. The proportions just speaking for himself. I wish it was a bit lower sitting, but I mean, with a few mods, you can actually do that to make the car look even crazier. Let me just give you a close look here on the rear as well. And here we have it. The only thing, in my opinion, that's missing on the CLE AMG right here is the quad exhaust tips, but because it's absolute perfection. Uh, the, the round exhaust tips actually show us that this is just a 53 model but i'm already fine with it as long as they're giving us a wider body here in the back we're talking about 75 millimeters wider wheel arches which make a huge difference this car looks perfect for me honestly it's one of the most emotional amgs they've shown us in the past few years and this being a six cylinder makes also a big difference for the customers i've read a lot of feedback and opinion from from your side and you guys really loved it so let me just give you a closer look and fast look here as well the rear we get this additional rear spoiler, it's full finished in black gloss. You can even get that in carbon fiber if you want. As we have the Nike package too, you can see the uh, badging, everything finished in dark chrome. Also the star for the first time ever finished in dark chrome, really cool. AMG badge as well here. Uh, the exhaust tips also round shaped, as I mentioned, since we have the 53 model here. And also the rear diffuser full finished in black gloss to match with the entire look. There's also something really interesting about the tail lights. These tail lights look pretty cool, but they kind of look like they are connected here with this part. But this is actually just for the look, so it's not functional, it's just a black gloss part to make it look like it's connected. And I actually don't mind with the graphite gray Magno exterior paint, it really matches the overall look and spec. Let me just give you a closer look in the inside as well. And here we have it, the CLE 53 AMG specific interior. In the inside, you get quite a few options. For example, these new AMG bucket seats with a nice red finish here, since we are talking about the 53, always red. And with the 63s, we were always talking about like the yellow stitching or with the yellow details and leather, whatever. Uh, this one is being finished here in Alcantara Dynamica. Unfortunately, we have no AMG crest here and the headrest there's something missing but we have the amg emblem here also finished in black gloss looks perfect for me the seat in general is a new seat so it's pretty cool the way they shaped it extremely sporty apart from that we get this amg uh, specific flat bottom steering wheel which also here optionally comes in dynamica alcantara with the red contrast stitching you can even go with the carbon fiber steering wheel but it's, uh, it's an option it's also a matter of choice and a matter of taste uh, we have these steering wheel buttons let me just jump inside and give you a closer look so on the inside let me just start the ignition for you there you go and as soon as you do that you get the steering wheel buttons here coming alive Welcome. here you go kind of looks weird because of the reflection i'm just trying to capture it for you just covering it there we go here you can actually change the driving mode from slippery all the way to individual comfort sport sport plus and race mode with the 53 it's pretty cool to have that also the animation here on the display looks superb the car looks perfect in my opinion it's one of the best amg coupes they could have done i mean the cle in as an as a standard car looks already phenomenal but the amg they've done an amazing job uh, thank you so much to all the engineers to the design team uh, from afaltaba for making this car because in the past few years uh, AMG has quite a lot of, yeah, received quite a lot of hate because of all the four cylinder models. And I think here with the six cylinder CLE 53, they have 
honestly smashed it and the amg is finally back on track i mean with the v8s amg is still fine with the gt or with the sl or with the gt4 door but these kind of models really make the difference for the amg fan base and loyal customers let me just show you through at this point actually we are in in tenerife in spain and it's extremely hot as you can see here as soon as i zoom out the map there you go pretty cool also the way you can just use that the infotainment in general is just super easy to operate and with the CLE AMG you also get a performance menu here and then you have the IWC watch with a cool animation and then so funny uh, also with all the engine information and data you need apart from that you also get this car in track pace since we have the race mode yeah just for track usage only but when i drive the car later i will be just doing a drag race and we'll be just trying to do the zero to 100 spin just to show you how fast we will make it apart from that we will be now switching to another model just to give you a sound check okay but yeah all in all how do you guys like it the only thing yet again that i don't like is the plastic airbag cover and something else is the b pillar we have a b pillar here with the cle amg and the base cle in general i wish we didn't have that to make that car even more unique but apart from that there's nothing i can say or mention uh, in a negative aspect regarding the cle and the cle amg in specific there's quite a lot of space in the back as well as you can see from the yeah, headspace you can see is kind of limited for me i would struggle but i think for like children or people up to 175 meters is actually pretty fine what do you guys think let's get on and let's jump outside to listen to the sound of this let's go so here we are now, it's the time. We will be listening to the sound of the all new CLE 53 AMG. It's also my first ever time to be experiencing the sound. Uh, we'll be starting it up with an emotion start. Three, two, one, here we go. sound is okay honestly i was expecting a bit more because the 53 models the gt53 cls 53 is a bit louder but i'm actually i'm fine with the sound what do you guys think rate the sound from 1 to 10 in the comment section below i would give it a solid 6 out of 10 what do you think mm -hmm. 